Hi, I'm Timps and you are watching Game Dev Bits. So today we had a request to add an interior to a Sinti building, so let's dive in. So the building we're going to be working with is this hexagonal one, or octagon? I guess it's an octagon, uh, from Sinti's Polygon City. So let's dive in and add an interior to it. So each ring of the building is a separate piece and that's what we're going to work with. So, let's just grab, move these ones out of the way. We'll grab this ring halfway up. We can save it as a prefab once we're done. All right, so the first thing we're gonna need to do is grab Pro Builder. So up in the tools menu, Pro Builder, Pro Builder window. And then we just wanna hit, let's bring Pro Builder in. And then we just wanna hit Pro Builder Eyes. And there we go, everything is all set. We're ready to make ourselves a building. So the tool we want to use is, all right, let's grab some edges. So now that we've moved into edge mode, we have the option to select holes, which you'll see it selects all of these vertices across the top and bottom, because that's where our holes are. So then what we'll do is we'll go fill hole and we'll see that that has created a top and a bottom. All right, so let's step into our building and we still can't see anything there. So what we'll do is we'll go to polygon mode and you'll see we've selected just those new polygons that were created by fill holes. And then we wanna go ahead and flip face normal. So you'll notice we're now seeing through it. If we go in here, we can see them from the inside, which is exactly what we want. Okay, so now the next problem that we need to solve is there's no interior to the building. So if we select a side here and flip our faces, it stops functioning from the outside. So what we'll need to do is flip that back. So we'll just need to make a new copy of the interior that we can use while we're in there. So what we'll do is make sure we're in face mode, select the whole thing, then we're gonna go in here, hold down control, deselect the top and the bottom so we've got the rest of the building and then we want to go duplicate faces and use the plus and we want to duplicate that to a game object that is done so if we have a look that's actually created a copy in here so let's just rename that and add interior onto it so now with our object selected what we want to do is go up here and in the x scale 0.99 and in the Z scale 0.99 that should bring it all the way in and then we just want to go to flip face normals okay it's still a little bit too big so let's just go with 97 it's only a little bit smaller And then we've got a few faces here, so we'll just select that. Backspace to remove it, because we didn't want those ones to fill in as holes. Anyway, so we'll just remove those. Okay, now the things left to fix are making these windows so we can see out while we're on the inside. I don't think it matters as much to see inside while we're out and fixing these floors. So let's do the floors first. So we'll select the floor and the ceiling. And then we want to do is go up here and select UV editor. Now, if we bring in our UV editor, we can see the Polygon City texture sheet and we can see where our polygon is. So it's a little big. Hit R to switch to our scale tool. Q, W, E, and R will let you switch between move, rotate, and scale. All right, and then we just want to scale it down. Keep scaling, use the mouse wheel to scroll in. Nice and small. Okay, so your two options here are, you can either shrink it down and slap it on here. Which we just move this out of the way. Puts a nice flat color on there. Or what we can do is zoom in a little more and we can move these anywhere that we want. So let's just switch to selecting the floor. 
So with our floor selected, let's go to the move tool and we're going to go with a nice dark green for the carpet. So we'll just come up here so we can see the green, switch back to our scale tool, shrink it down. And there we go. We've got a nice green for the carpet. Then let's select our ceiling and we've left that over here on the on the gray. But if we wanted to go with a, a nice chestnut brown, we can do that. Scale it down and now we've got a brown ceiling and a nice green floor. All right, so our last problem left to solve now is let's get ourselves to look out these windows. So make sure that we're still in face mode and we're just going to hold down control and select the middle pane of our windows. We'll just do the ones on this quarter over here. And now with that done, what we want to do is jump into the material editor. Now we'll just pick this second material here that says grass. It'll say something else for yours, but we just want to select number two. And now this mesh, go over here to the inspector, has a second material slot. So Polygon City is in there. So we just select the second material to browse and then we just want to type in city because we know that's what they all start with. And there we go, we got Polygon City glass as a material here. And then if we just move our Pro Builder out of the way, you'll see we're inside our building. Look, we can see out these windows. We've got some glass here. Everything looks great. And if we go onto the outside, the original outside of the building is still there. And that's all there is to it. So we've got ourselves a building and you can get in here by an elevator, teleport stairs, whatever you want. And we're good to go. For now, that's everything you need. Thanks so much for tuning in and I'll catch you in the next video.